wonderful outreach to the Lakota uh, Native American people in the North uh, Dakota area, South Dakota area of America. And uh, this is a people group that has been forgotten. Yesterday I took quite a few of you on a tour and I talked to you about the Native American population in America and the horrible injustices that have happened to the indigenous peoples here. Many of you are aware. And so under Reverend Patty Eamon's leadership, we have a group that goes five to six times a year. There's a whole team and you see the logo behind me. And, and so that group, every year we try to report something unique, but that group is making great inroads to an area that is a very difficult mission field. Uh, for obvious reasons. Um, no time to go into that. But the greatest accomplishment for this year so far, it's only October, uh, has been the publishing um, of this book that was written for these people by Pamela Tattishaw, part of our team, and it's called The Shadows Defeat. Red Patty, would you come up here for a minute? Where's Pam Tattishaw, the author? And, and let, you have been, well, I can't do you who went to South Dakota. There's too many of you. Pam, come up here. Quite a few of our churches gone. And this was illustrated, I believe, by Eugene Russell. So where are you at, Gene? Can you join me? Praise the Lord. And I want you to tell them what this is and tell them the background of why this was published. Well, the uh, uh, Pine Ridge Reservation is a, is a, it's 2.7 million acres with about 26,000 people living on that. And these, uh, ch what's been happening lately, there's been a lot of suicide happening among the children and the youth. And we went there uh, in, at the beginning of this year, and we heard about this little girl who, uh, the, it was a neighbor lady that told us the story. She's nine years old, and this dark shadow came to her and told her that she really didn't have any value and that she needed to die. Told her how to take a rope and hang herself with it, and she didn't do it that time. So the second time, he came back again and told her to do it with a piece of wire. And so she, she did do it with a piece of wire, but... She didn't die, and that's the reason why we can tell you the story. She's alive. But then the next thing that happened is we went to a graduation in June. We helped a lady get uh, uh, with books and things and clothing so that she could get her master's degree, and she was at, we were at her graduation. While we were there, the tribal president said, There's the, the spirit has asked for 16 more children. Ten have died, and he wants six more, and we don't know what to do. So when we went in uh, August to the Vacation Bible School, we had only one day in each place. And out of 50 children, we, we, we told them the story of Lucy Redfeather and Joseph Standing Tall. And how it's a, it's a book about this little girl who's been bullied by Billy Bullfrog. And, 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 she, and this spirit had been coming to her and telling her that she was valueless and she needed to die. And uh, so we came up, so I told, I had this little tag that said, God in me is greater than any darkness, leave me in Jesus' name. And we were going to give them that tag to put around their neck that had little fluorescent glows in the dark. At night they could have it and they could hold it and, and take that, tell that devil to leave. And so we wanted to give them that to put around their neck instead of a noose. Well, then Pam decided uh, she was going to come to South Dakota. And I said, Pam, you talk to him about suicide. So I'll tell you what, this thing just poured out of her. And, and she was telling the story off of a piece of paper. And, you know, we asked these children if they'd ever seen the dark shadow. And I, I think I said that, but over, out, of, out of 50 children, 16 it had come to. Besides all the kids that it came to and we didn't have a book or a chain to put around their neck. And that had already died before them. So we have this book now. And when on the way home, I said, we got to put that in a book. And I'll tell you what, within six weeks... We've got a book, 1,500 copies. We're on our way to South Dakota to get into the schools. We've got somebody at the school board that's going to help us get into them. And if they don't want us, we'll go door to door. But we're going to get it done. And people will be saved. It's good for anybody. We've had testimonies already. Jean Russell, her... She said it's good for anybody. See, this is what has happened in our ministry. We have always created material for missions, and then it helps us at home. Now tell me. Okay, well, look, you'll take a look at these, and these are all faceless. The, the dolls, the, the, the characters are faceless. So anybody's little face can, or big face can go in there. So anyway, uh, just before we even left, before the book was even published, Jean Russell was at her house, and, and she was doing her illustrations. Her sister came to come, come to visit with her, and hadn't, the, the kind of relationship hasn't been all that good, but they're rebuilding in their relationship. 
Here she finds out. She's saying, What's your, what are you doing? And she tells her the story. And then what happens? Wow. <laughs> well, anyway, I was explaining with each illustration the story of Lucy and the struggles that Ruth, Lucy had with this dark shadow coming into her dreams and into her life and tormenting her to the point to where she was told that the family would be better off without her. The world would be better off without her. She had already attempted suicide four times. Your sister? Yes, my sister. And uh, this last time, she almost was successful at it. But after I told her this story, she became pale, and then she said, Jean, she said, I've seen it. I said, what? She said, each time I saw this dark shadow, and he did the very same to me that he's doing to these children on the reservation. It's not just on the reservation, but she said, now I know I have the power to make him leave. A little girl from our church, I don't want to name her name, but uh, the, Diane, my friend, was over there at the bookstore. And this is, we have we're not even got to the reservation yet. Uh, she came up and said, yeah, just got him. We just got him Tuesday. Yeah. And so this little girl came over and she asked if she about the book and, and uh, Diane says, well, how much do you have? And she said, nothing. And she said, well, okay, I'll give you a book and a chain. Gave her a book and a chain. She went home and read that. Came back and reported to Diane that um, she said that I had been having bad dreams and last night I didn't have a bad dream. So praise the Lord. You know, God is in this. You know, we didn't plan on making no book. We aren't, we're not, you know, we're not we don't do that. We go to the reservation, talk to people about Jesus. But he gave an idea. And with that chain and with that book and with the illustrations that are in that book, it's not only a book, but it's a coloring book. So the kids are going to get a chain. They're going to get the chain. They're going to get some colors and they're going to get the book. And we're going to go from, from we want to go from school to school and open up that book and read it along with them. Amen. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But you know what? For, for 1,500 children to receive this, including transporting us, transporting, <laughs> transporting us back and forth, it'll cost $3.57 per child. For 1,500 books to be given to 1,500 children. Monday, I'm going into the recording studio to record this book. I want to announce to you, Dr. <clears throat> Damar Wilson is writing the music and the song to go with this. Look how God does. Reach your hands in this direction. Just reach your hands in this direction. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we, come over here, ladies, lay our hands on this book. It's already doing the work. The anointing has already shown that this is the way to go. But, Lord, we thank you. We, we just pause to thank you. The God who gives words to your servants, the God who gives illustrations and images to your servants, the God who cares about people has allowed us to be a part of this wonderful miracle and we rejoice in it. In Jesus name. Amen. <laughs> amen. It's my copy. Thank you. I told you there's so many miracles that happen here. I just wanted to share that because we just got this on Tuesday and already two lives saved. Thank God.